Welcome to the first of three videos in which we'll be exploring with Bostic the role innovation is playing in adhesives to deliver improved sustainability in packaging. Joining me today are Vladimir Moraes, Marc Defuan, and Cyril Bilois, speaking from the Bostic Smart Technology Center near Paris. In this first episode, we're looking at lamination adhesives and finding out about Bostic's holistic approach to sustainability and lamination for flexible packaging. And for those who don't know Bostic, could you tell us briefly uh, what you're all about as a company? Yes, thanks. Uh, so Bostic is the adhesive and sealing solution segment of Arkema Group. And Arkema is a specialty materials company and is globally recognized for its, its sustainability leadership. So Bostic is actually inspired and shared the sustainability core vision core values of, uh, of Arkema. Bostic is a global company like Arkema, and we serve many different markets with our adhesives. And when it comes to flexible packaging, we have a very broad portfolio of solutions, starting with the whole spectrum of laminating adhesives, the topic of today, but also heat seal polyesters for leading films, cold seal for confectionery, and our famous a uh, reclosable system for leading films for food trays. We are also working on enriching our offer with functional coatings, barrier coatings, primers, both for films and for paper. paper. And can you remind us the purpose of adhesives and flex flexibles? And what is Bostic's part to play here? So laminating adhesives are a very important element of flexible packaging, keeping the whole structure together safely and cost effectively. So our SLP program, which is Sustainable Laminating Program, is a global, holistic, 360 degrees approach to sustainability in lamination. And it's all about concrete, pragmatic, science-based, and even third-party certified solutions for packaging makers and brands. Thank you. Um, so let's focus on the topic of laminating adhesives. Um, Cyril, I'd like to ask you, um, could you tell me about the, the context and the, the demands that are driving um, product development in this area? Yes, yeah, sure, Tim. Uh, good, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So indeed, uh, nowadays, there is a, a very strong and definitive uh, movement uh, driving uh, the economy towards circular economy. And uh, this in all the fields. Huh? So, uh, of course, plastics and packaging are also uh, very much affected by, by this drive. And there are two main reasons uh, for this drive that we have uh, identified. Of course, there is a very strong societal movement. Uh, I think we all heard uh, this uh, famous phrase, there is no planet B. So, we need to find sustainable solutions to maintain our way of consuming and, and way of living. But there is also a second uh, equally pragmatic reason um, in, in, uh, that we can, we can identify. Today in the uh, linear economy, um, plastic is not recyclable, is not reused most of the time. And so we lose annually a value of $100 billion. It's, it's a kind of uh, evaluation. And of course, this is a strong motivation to change uh, the way we, we treat packaging. Because if you can retrieve this uh, part of that value, that is significant figures. So we need now to uh, make packaging uh, recyclability happen. And it might sound very easy, but actually uh, this is where the challenge starts because not only you want to uh, re recycle, uh, recycle your flexible packaging, you still want to maintain all the features that it brings, which are food preservation across the, the value chain, uh, food safety, um, the capability of the industry of producing this uh, flexible packaging in an efficient manner and uh, also reducing the, uh, the energy consumption. So you name it. And there are a lot of challenges. And of course, 
these challenges, uh, you can somehow address them with innovation, but you need also a very strong collaboration across the, the stakeholders uh, of, of the value chain of uh, packaging. So we, Bostik, we want to be uh, the uh, company providing smart adhesive solutions in order to uh, make uh, this uh, sustainability happen. So what we did, we, we launched different, uh, uh, different programs across our company. And for advanced packaging and flexible packaging, we launched a, a specific program with a dedicated team, which is the sustainable lamination program. Thank you very much, Cyril. And um, so um, both Cyril and uh, Vladimir have already mentioned this, uh, this program, the SLP. Um, Mark, could you just give us an overview of, of what, this, what this means? Yeah, sure, sure. It will be a pleasure. Then let me say we had few brainstorming. A few months ago, we decided to launch SLP, as you mentioned, which is a sustainable lamination program. In fact, it is based on four pillars, environmental care, safety and regulatory, enabling circularity and efficiency. And what I can add as well is in the current range, we already have adhesive matching this program. That means it's something which is concrete and be sure that all the new development will fit it without any doubt. That's all for this episode. Um, we'll uh, have two more parts of this series of videos in which we'll be exploring in some detail uh, those four pillars that Mark has just mentioned. Thank you very much for watching and thanks to Vlad Vladimir, Cyril and Mark. Goodbye.